Good morning, everybody. We are on our way to the Grand Canyon now. Uh, we got up super early at like 6 a.m. and we got our stuff together, we got ready, we had breakfast, and we just had to fuel up again, and now we're on our way. And it was about an hour and a half from our hotel. And yesterday when I put it in the maps, it said it was only an hour away from our hotel, but this morning it was apparently an hour and a half away, so I don't really know what's going on. But anyways, we are only 30 miles away. And we are actually going to the south rim of the Grand Canyon because the place is just like massive. We, there's no way we'd be able to see everything, but the south rim is closest to us and that's where my dad went when he went to the Grand Canyon. So, um, so we're headed there right now and obviously I will take pictures and I will vlog when we get there. Oh, do you want to say good morning? Honey? Morning guys. I've been driving. Is that all I got to say? That's all I really have time. Okay. I drive. We are getting close to the Grand Canyon now and we're actually driving through a national forest. It's the Kaibab or Kaibab. I think it was Kaibab National Forest. It was like K-A-I-B-A-B, -A -A -B, I think, but it's pretty cool and it's it's like really nice to drive through and we just saw a couple of deer over on the side, so that was really cute. National Park. Hey. We're coming in. Yeah, I know. I gotta get my card out. We're coming into the entrance gate of the Grand Canyon. There's a lot of people here. It's only 8 30 in the morning. All right, we finally made it in. We're just driving like to the visitor center and then and then to the canyon. And we just drove by and they have like they had like a campground in the forest it was really cool you could just camp here overnight and then before we actually got in here there was like a strip where they have like a bunch of hotels and they have like an airport and stuff like that so it's really cool around here i like it all right guys we have arrived and we're walking towards the grand canyon and it's really cold out it's like super windy today we both have our we both have our winter jackets on because it's so cold in this. So it's gonna get like a little bit warmer, like maybe 70, but right now it's still like what 50? 57. 57. So, but we're on our way to the canyon! Canyon ahead. And we have found the Grand Canyon. Look at that. Oh my god. This is insane. I know pictures and videos will not do it justice, but this is incredible. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh wow. just crazy oh, oh my god it doesn't even seem real it doesn't look real Tom made it to the edge. It's really far down. <laughs> it's really cool though, right, honey? Oh, it's super cool. You can see forever. Yeah. The good thing is that there are railings. I don't know if there are railings around the entire thing, but where we are, there are railings, which thank God for that. Mm -hmm. 
Hanging out. You sure we can't do it right now, Mom? It's kind we, of important. We are still just yeah. enjoying this incredible view. It is amazing. Oh, there goes a little squirrel down there. He just lives on the side of the canyon. I know, yeah, he, he just lives in the canyon. It's fine. I couldn't do that. Couldn't pay me enough. Couldn't pay me enough to take one step outside of that fence. But look, there's somebody sitting on a rock having rain all the time. Yep, that, that part over there has no railing. That's fantastic. Well, we are currently walking along the Grand Canyon and this part has absolutely no railing, no fence, no nothing. It is just straight canyon and you can just walk right up there and, and yeah. I think that's the guy we talked about. Oh there. my yeah. god. Yeah. Guy was literally just sitting on the edge of the cliff. That's fine. Oh, yeah, fall off there, you're, yeah you're you are done. So this guy was just standing or sitting on the edge. And we are still walking. Tom and I actually just went up to the edge a little bit and took really cool pictures. So I was I was really proud of him for doing that. <laughs> and people just people literally just walk out on the cliff on the tiniest little parts, like it's no big deal. These people over here? Yeah, or this Oh. Guy. Either one. Doesn't matter. Action shot. See, this log is perfect for a picture. Great guys, well that was the Grand Canyon. We're still here but we're just walking around. There's like a cafe and a visitor center and a little store and stuff that we're gonna go in but whew, that was literally one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It was scary. All right, we're on the road again and we're heading to California now. We got our souvenirs at the Grand Canyon and we were gonna get something from the cafe and just like eat it in the car but they have really weird food like stuff that's time and I don't really like like sandwiches with hummus on it and pretty much any sandwich that has lettuce on it Tom won't eat anyways and then they have like weird like berry and turkey sandwich and I don't even know it was interesting and then they had one good thing which was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich but it was six dollars for the freaking sandwich so now we're going to Taco Bell And can I also get a loaded potato griller? And can I get extra nacho cheese in the griller? <laughs> Trying to drive the freaking you all through the Taco Bell drive through <laughs> You told me to do it. <laughs> oh my god, I can't breathe. We have finally arrived in California. And we're still like three and a half hours away from our destination, but it's gonna take us even longer now to get there because the highway that we're traveling on next to the Mo Mojave. Mojave Desert, right there, yeah, it's really beautiful, right? Whole lot of nothing. Um, so the highway we're traveling on 
there's a sign, the speed limit is 70 miles per hour, but vehicles that are towing a trailer, notice the U-Haul back there, can only drive a maximum of 55 miles per hour. So our original arrival time was like 7.30ish, and now it's already like eight o'clock. And we've only been driving on this for what? Half an hour? 45? I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes, and we're only like halfway past the desert. And we're gonna be on this road for like another 100 miles, so. Ugh, that really stinks. But I'm trying to keep Tom entertained because he's getting really bored and antsy. How you doing, babe? I'm doing just peachy. I don't even really need to look at the road because the road isn't even moving. I ain't looking. This is stupid. Uh, this is what I have to look at for the next hundred whatevers. Desert. Desert. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And nothing is more frustrating than a car driving by me at 80 miles an hour and I can't do anything about it because that's normal. Alright guys, so we're we pulled over at a gas station in California, and can you just tell how windy it is outside? Like, look at Tom's shirt right now. And the trees are going nuts, like. It is super windy. He just opened his door and got out, and he just left the door sitting there, and it closed by itself. That's how windy it is. Oh, and also, um, so this entire road trip, we've been paying somewhere between $2 and like two seventy dollars um, for gas. And we got here and it was three thirty. I think is what Tom just said. $3.30 for gas. Welcome to California. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> we finally made it to Los Angeles well a little bit like on the outskirts of Los Angeles but pretty much Los Angeles the traffic is just as bad as being like downtown so we finally made it we're at my aunt and uncle's house for the night and we have a nice a nice cozy bed here and a nice TV so we're excited we're excited to just relax and tomorrow we still have to do, um, we still have to drive like two hours back down, well not back down, we have to drive two hours to San Diego and then we have to unload the U-Haul and return the U-Haul, but we can kind of go at our own pace tomorrow and it's not like go, 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 like get up at 6am, it's, it's gonna be nice. So... We will see you guys tomorrow morning and we'll be at our brand new apartment tomorrow. So I'm going to do an, like an empty apartment tour. So I thought that'd be really fun. And yeah, I think that's it for tonight and we'll see you in the morning. Good night, guys. Good night. You're a beast.